Hi, welcome to the Stage 9 review. In Stage 9, we meet the dative case of the first, second, and third declensions, and we meet sentences that now have subjects in the nominative case, direct objects in the accusative case, and indirect objects in the dative case. You should know the new endings for the dative singular and plural of the first, second, and third declension. You should know to translate datives as indirect objects, often with two or four. And you should be able to fill out the following charts for the first, second, and third declension. Let's start with the first declension. We already knew the nominative singular puela and accusative singular puelam, the nominative plural puelai and the accusative plural puelas. Now we're adding in the dative singular puelai and the dative plural puelis. Beware, because now we have some ambiguous endings. Puelai dative singular, puelai nominative plural. What this means is when you see a first declension noun ending in AE, you're going to have to look at the rest of the sentence to decide whether what you have is a dative singular or a nominative plural. Now let's look at the second declension. We already had the nominative singular serwus and the accusative singular serwum, the nominative plural serwi, the accusative plural serwos. We're adding in the dative singular serwo and the dative plural serwis. Third declension. We'll use leo and the accusative leonem. Note that the accusative gives us the stem that we're going to use in all the cases besides the nominative. Nominative plural leones looks just like the accusative plural leones. Now we're adding in the dative singular leoni and the dative plural leonibus. Beware, here's another ambiguous form. This long I that shows us that leoni is dative singular of the third declension looks just like the long I that shows us that serwi is nominative plural in the second declension. So when you see a long I ending now, you're going to have to think, is that now a second declension noun? In which case the long I means nominative plural? Or a third declension noun, in which case the long I means dative singular? And as always, you should know all the words in the vocab checklist, both from Latin to English and from English to Latin. Remember that we have Quizlet lists to help you with that.